Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the West Coast. And it is the spring still. It's planting season. And frankly, I'm a little overwhelmed. I've got this valley pretty much uh, ready to rock and roll. I got about 80% of it planted in canola. But um, we need to finish off the slurry work that needs to be done around here. So I'm just going to refill here. I brought in some helpers today. I've got uh, Bag of Hammers Gaming, Alan. Say hello, Alan. How you doing, guys? And I got uh, Genetic in here, too, because we're going to be burning up a bunch of slurry on this game. And we need to get somebody on it for us to do some carding. Let's see here. How am I doing now? A little bit further up, a little bit further up. And right about there. Good. All right, so we're going to reload from him here. Um, and we have to go almost, almost across the entire map. So um, we need to head towards the blue farm up near field 15 and 16. So let's see here. I think for some you... reason there, Mark, you're telling for me. Am I? Oh, because I think genetic's empty. Are you... Yes, I am now. There you go. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, stop off at the uh, at the uh, field side um, container on the way through a Little Wool Hope because I think we're done with that one. So now that I've done the fields on this end of the map, I think we're going to move our whole operation to the other side of the map. If you want to um, stop off at the same container, uh, bag of hammers, uh, Alan. We will, yeah, uh, do that. yeah, we'll get you filled up too, and then from then on, we can just run slurry from the um, from the VGA or from the contractor's yard. I've got tanks in both places, so all right. I feel like uh, this thing needs four-way flashers if it's going to get down the road. Could just be me. There we go. Gonna freak the traffic out the way we do this. All right, beautiful. So yeah, so these are the fields over here that I fertilized with Delta the other night, and I still haven't seeded those with canola. But other than that, we've I've pretty much been up and down the entire map, and uh, got everything on this valley here seeded with canola. Still working on a couple of odds and ends. I've decided that the uh, the contract stipulates that the uh, everything around the sheep farm is going to be wheat. I'm growing barley. The sheep farm is going to have wheat, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, corn silage for. Whoops. What am I hung up on here? Same problem. There you go. Just going to wiggle away a bit. I keep forgetting about that. Um, Excuse me, sir, you're in the way. I got a pedestrian. All right, let's hit the brakes and hop out. There we go. So you can go ahead and just put your trunk in the back end of this thing and it'll uh, use the door up there and it'll, uh, it'll sort you out. How is this thing for product anyway? 64,000 still. Okay, so if you take 20,000 and genetics takes 20,000, we can probably, you know, if we wanted to, we could empty this one out first, genetic, and then we could move to going to purchase some more. Because if we have time, it would be cool to have this tank over um, at the other farm, so we could just, um, you could just keep refilling it and we could come back to it for refills. All right, that'll work. But let's see how uh, let's see how our, our our pacing works out. So you're full genetic and uh, yep, Just about. almost there. Cool. All right, so I guess I'll uh, since how you know you know the way, don't you? Genetic to uh, the blue farm. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the back way though. I think I'm gonna go up via the cattle farm, and we're gonna start on the field nearest to the cattle farm, uh, just on the other side of the hill from there. All right, handbrake off. And 
pull onto the highway safely. I got no cars. Safe. Beautiful. These big machines handle surprisingly well for the size of them. Oh, uh, that six wheel steering makes a difference. Yeah. So what you're you're a, uh, a are you a paramedic or a firefighter, Alan? Uh, yeah, both. Oh, you're both. So do you do you get to ride in the big trucks when you're doing the fire department stuff? Yeah, I drive them once in a while. Yeah. Kind of like that. For me, this is kind of like what it feels like. You're in this giant fire engine going down the road and. The cars seem a little bit yeah. close. All right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna that go right me. here. Are you okay? Oh yeah, no, he just pushed me backwards a little. Okay. So you're right behind me still. I can see you on the map. All right. I'll you're just. You're hitting 35. No, I'm gonna go up. Uh, I'm actually gonna go up through here. I'm gonna go through the dairy cat, the cattle farm. To cross okay. the to cross the hill, the hills over at the Blue Farm are a little bit aggressive for these machines, so um, you sort of have to go around by the flatter earth uh, method. Okay, no problem. Sort of follow the contours around this hill. Looks like my canola plants are already coming in on this uh, on this field. I started planting the canola so early on this map. I was I was still in the first uh, three days of spring. Oh yeah. So I wasn't done the planting yet, and they'd already hit a growth stage. So I think my dream of uh, of seeing the entire valley in yellow flowers might not work out for pacing. That might be half and half. But all these fields back here, we got to spray these with um, with uh, liquid fertilizer at some point too. So, all right, there we go. Up the hill. It's been a while since I've been on this map. Yeah, the last time you were on here was it when we were playing uh, the economics uh, back in the day when uh, Farmer John and uh, Adam had this farm. Yeah, that was it. I was doing the uh, sheep farm back then. That's it. And lots of hay work. I was going to offer you the sheep farm, actually, because uh, to take that up. because I kind of feel like we got gypped on that whole deal. We kind of <laughs> we kind of started it, and we were just about to hit our stride. We were just about to get into cattle when we had that catastrophic yeah, we failure. Figured out. Yeah. So maybe I can talk to my real estate agent and we can work out a deal. Well, after the last map, I got four mil in the bank, so. Oh, there you go. That's true, too. You can more than the feed to afford to feed a couple of sheep. Maybe even get oh, yeah. yourself some cool grass toys. So uh, what field were you headed to again? Um, I'm not sure because my HUD is down. But I'm following the contours here. I'm just coming around the top of the map, on the north side of the map. Yeah, you're around field nine, then. Yeah, so I think that as soon as I find out, uh, there's a field right here that needs to be done. So I think I'm going to pull okay. in to field nine whenever I find the gate to it. And uh, sort of have to hit the brakes a lot now because I'm kind of falling down this hill. There we go. I love this end of the map. This end of the map is so underplayed. Like, you know, everybody who you watch on YouTube, they kind of use the default fields. And I find that that's such a waste because, man, just these little roads, it's just so gorgeous over here. Come the on. The machinery's a little tight on these little roads, though. It's a little tight, yeah, but uh, four-wheel steering and uh, Bullet Bill was kind enough to... Um, at this end of the fields, when the fields are big, he tends to throw in double gates. Yeah, that's good of him. Yeah, he's a good guy that way. He's not going to make us suffer too much pulling uh, three meter plow, three meter uh, cedars into uh, 10 acre fields, you know? Yeah. All right, let's see. So, can you see where I'm at, uh, Alan? Uh, yeah, I can see you. Okay. Coming up around the top of the map here now. All right. 
I think I'm a little too close to something. I actually, I might have to back into this because I think my cultivator is getting stuck on things. Yep, cultivator's stuck. Okay, so I need to back into this field. Just cultivator first to get it to swing. This is not going to be easy because now there's a tree in my way. If I back it in this way. Sorry, Mr. Hedge, you might have to be sacrificed a little bit. No, I think... Well, you know, they grow back. Yeah, they do. Thank goodness, because I spent a lot of time abusing hedges. Okay, where am I doing wrong here? I also abused hedges on this map. Oh, there you are. Okay. Actually, Genetic, if you can hop out and guide me in, I feel, I'm going to try to back this thing in there. Camera number five, Mark. Oh, you're right. Cameras. Right. Hang on a second. Camera number or two. Maybe. Uh, what? Five or two? Let's see here. Five, two. No. Tree. Two is a tree. Three is a tree. Four might help. And five. Right. Oh, yeah. Come okay. On back. All right. Let's see here. Can you see it? Turn. Yeah. There we go. Give me a direction. Uh, going left? Yeah, go ahead and turn left real hard. Real hard? And straight back. A little close to that gate. Okay. Let me just. I forgot that thing's got four wheel steering. Yeah. Let me just pull into this bush over here. See if I can swing my ass over this way. Uh, all right. Then that make should the be turn. About right. All right. Straighten up. There you go. That about so beautiful. All right. Sometimes it can be a pain. All right. Turn off my mouse here. And. Go away, Mr. HUD. You've served your purpose. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can get this bag of hammers back in here, huh? <laughs> Let's see, that's why I'm a bag, because it's easier to move me around. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to head up to the top of the field and do a headlands, and then we'll go up and down. All right, you're, a little, you're on the gate, so pull up a little bit. Oh, now back up. Straight up. Not straight up. Now you hit the fence again. <laughs> Is that thing on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> back straight up. Oh, wow. This is a big field, now guys. Alright. Actually, you're on it with the other end now. Back straight up there. Now turn real hard. Or not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm lagging out or what's going on here. <laughs> hey, it's on that fence post. You kind of over this like, to the left a little far. Think of it as backing an elephant into an outhouse. There you go. Now back straight up. Certainly anytime you try to bring any big equipment into this map. There you go. You're thinking about it. You gotta think about it. Yeah, this machinery is rather large for this map. It is. I, I think you can get it in the field. I think it is at the bleeding edge of what this map can handle. When, yeah, I, please, when I was last please. on here, we were on... Um, I was over on field one and I was just trying to use a Joskin Tornado. And I had to, I had to sort of uh, go into the field backwards and use my front weight to actually tow it in there because it would not make the corner. So even what you would consider to be medium size or smaller equipment, you got to think about it. I'm starting to headland out here, Mark. Okay. I'm half thinking we're doing this wrong, though. No, oh, probably. I'm thinking, like, you wouldn't want to turn on something you've already cultivated, right? 
Uh, yeah, usually you do the headlands last, but... Uh, okay. The more you cultivate it, the better it is work, right? Right, okay. Well, that's the other thing that I discovered about this, uh, this machine, is that, uh, basically, even with the three, um, three stages of fertilization on, if you hit it once with this machine, you inject it right into the soil and cultivate it at the same time, it gives you all the credits at once. Yep. So... In the end, we're working the, the, the land with something this big and getting us in to do it, the farmer is going to save time and money because just the savings alone in, in fertilization is incredible. And the BGA is almost paying us to get rid of their uh, slurry for them because they've always got too much. All I got to do is stay out of the hedges. Minimize the damage to the truck. All right, so I think uh, we're... Edges are soft. So I think we're going to start where you are now. I'm going to follow you down that road, and we'll start going back okay. and forth. If you can straighten out your line based on that, we'll just use that as a straight line and go up and down. I feel like if we uh, put any kind of side stresses by turning these cultivators, we're going to rip them off the back of the truck. Yeah, I expect we would. So actually, I'm going to straighten out this line here. I'm just going to follow the crop lines, and I'm going to straighten out this line. You go ahead and finish that section over there, and just straighten that part out again. So yeah, so all the fields on this end of the map are going to be in corn. And we have a large contract with uh, both the dairy farm and the, um, the BGA. So we're going to have a massive silage session on this side of the map. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just going to turn around here. You go ahead and yep. behind me. You go ahead and cut in behind me and I'll back up again. I mean, just the canola harvest is gonna be an epic harvest, so this is gonna be so much fun. If we can get five or six people hired in to, uh, to help us out with it, we'd probably pick a Saturday or something like that and just... Yeah. Get her yeah, done. take a good day to do this whole thing. Yeah. Good. That's all right. I think we're going to have enough volunteers to come and help. Oh, I expect so. Yeah. No one ever wants to pass up a silage session. <laughs> Seems that way. Well, silage is what we're all good at, tearing stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, we do think... have a little bit of experience with silage, don't yeah. we? There we go. Were you there when they did all the corn on the other um, map, uh, Genetic? Were you in Germany with us? Yes, but I believe I missed part of that. Oh, uh, okay. Like, did we ever play that map, man? I don't think anybody's ground so much into Steppenbach as we did on that map. That was a month and a half of playing that map. I would never, uh, I'd never regretted it. No, it was just a whole lot of fun, that map. That, uh, the corn, uh, silaging was about the same time that that update farm sim came out. Yep. And it was jacking your computers around if you had already installed it and then uninstalled it. And yeah. And that's why I missed it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that that was around the time when my whole computer went down. Yep. Took me a little while before I got my uh, before I got my mojo back in farm sim. And I gotta tell you, this is the map that's given it back to me. 
I can hardly put it down. I'm always, I'm on here every day doing something. I have a feeling I'm going to get back into it big time with this map too. Yeah. I was pretty upset when it crashed on it before. Yeah. This this is a difficult map to do on your own, but if you've got some help, oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I worked the main farm for two years on it, and just going between that and the cattle farm, and it got to be more than one person could handle, really. Absolutely. Now, granted, I don't use huge equipment. I'd be pulling like the uh, maybe an eight to twelve meter elevator behind this. Yep. So you know. Well, that's how that's I'm doing. Uh, that's how I'm doing my farm. I basically own everything on the on the other side of the railroad tracks, going to the ocean, on the hill on the uh, cliffside farm. That's my farm, and that one I do everything on there with little equipment. But all of this stuff here on this side of the map is owned by other farmers. So all I get to do is I'm doing contracts for Sam, and Sam brings in whatever equipment he feels is necessary. Or we get some stuff on demo. We got those John Deere's on demo, and we uh, we just work whatever needs to be worked. I think these machines are leased from a European company, and uh, when we're done doing the silage, they're going back. Or the sorry, the slurry, they're going back. Speaking of, yeah. where is Sam? You know, Sam keeps, I don't know, he keeps wanting to come on, but uh, apparently he's got a busy life. Because every time he, had, he tells me he's going to meet me somewhere, I, uh, I end up having to call in somebody else to help me. I'll get him on here. I think Sam's got a passion for potatoes. I'm trying to pull him in with potatoes. <laughs> I got a harvester for you there, Mark, too. Do you? Yeah, it's a four-row uh, windrower-type harvester. It just drops one windrow behind it. Oh, okay. And it does four rows at a time. I tried using that on Steppenbach, and it was... Um, that one gave me uh, some trouble. This, this one's actually a different one. It's Is four it? rows instead of two. Oh, okay, okay. Then we are definitely going to give that a shot. But the other thing also that I have is the, um, I got one from, uh, from some German friends. They have a Dutch one that they, uh, that they use a green one. Okay. And, uh, that one's pretty good too. And that one works fine because I use that one on, uh, on another server with the guys from PCSG. So I know for a fact that one works. Oh, uh, that's a good thing then. Yeah. I just, you know, you know me. I try to stay away from vanilla, so I don't, I don't yeah, mind I the, that. I don't mind the Grimmy, but I play a modded game, and uh, I will play any old mod that comes along. I'm honestly surprised we're not using that Russian Minority Freighter on this. The Russian one? Yeah, the new one that just came out there. Really? Okay. Yeah. It's on here. You downloaded it already. Oh yeah, yeah, the gray one. Yeah. Oh, I have that on yeah. my farm. That that's 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 for my personal use. Oh okay. Yeah, we may get to use that on uh, if you if you get into the sheep farm, we may use that on your farm too. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. But before uh, before I talk to Sam about buying that farm for you though, the um, we gotta we gotta come up with a plan to fertilize the grass around there because it hasn't been touched so. None of this stuff seems to have been really okay. uh, ground through for a while. So, if well, we, we can, can mow it once, that'll give us a bit of fertilization and then go from there. Yeah, that's it. But we can also just, if we, if we can hit it with a spray and then mow it, we can get a little bit more yeah. grass out of it. Just to give it a little bit of a treatment. Or maybe even just weed it and then mow it. We'll see. We'll come up with a plan. I got an order from the guys over at the cattle farm to spray their grass, so I got to do that stuff anyway. So okay. we will, uh, we're definitely going to do a, a big spraying session. But uh, for your farm, you've got smaller fields in the, over on the sheep farm, so. Yeah, there's a lot of tight gates and yeah. stuff in there. Might not be worth bringing the big sprayers in up there. No, no. I got myself a nice old Russian sprayer for my farm too, so. Maybe we can use that. I personally go for dry fertilizer up in those. Would you? Okay. Well. Yeah, it's just it's quicker. It's better for the grass, right? It's longer acting. Okay. 
Well, then uh, I've got one of those too. I've been, uh, I used that at my, for my first stage over on my farm as well, so. Pretty easy to get done. That one fits easily on the back of my little uh, Valtra, my little, my little Valmet, so it's uh, it's an easy one to get used to. Okay. And we're off again. How are we doing here for slurry? This thing is pretty efficient, actually. Yeah, it really is. Pride. Uh, uh, we're down to 34%, uh, though. So let's um, let's each take 50% out of Genetics Tank, and that way he can go off and get his next load. Okay. And then we can finish this field. And by the time we get our big butts out of this field, into the next one, he'll probably be back, so. Sounds good. You grab first and I'll, uh, I'll do a pass while you're going and then okay. I'll grab a second load. Okay. There it is. Uh, get up a smidge. Right about there. And let's get him down to 50%. I do love these. Uh, this is all from the horse pack. All these tankers that I'm using. That yeah. to me. This, this pack came out right around the same time as the Platinum DLC. And. Uh, Alright, there you go. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Oh. Watch my monitor. Yeah, thank you. All right, let me just fold up here. And down she comes. He's up at the top of the field. Yeah, I'm going to come down the far side so you can start your up and down. There you go. Okay. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to stick around here and we're just going to have some fun, but we're going to turn off the recording. It's been about a half hour anyway, and uh, that's about all of my voice I'm pretty sure you guys can handle. We got a lot of work to do on this side of the map, so we are going to trudge on. Thank you, uh, Alan, the bag of hammers gaining. Check the link, check, check the link below. No problem, man. And thank you, Genetic, for hopping on tonight and helping us cart some poop around. Always a pleasure having you on the maps. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> and uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.